Welcome, welcome to this um, Inkscape tutorial. In this in this Inkscape tutorial, I will be showing you how to prepare your um, Tumblr template in here so that you can print it out on your printer. Um, when you open Inkscape, you will get this. And then we're going to save our file right now. We're going to save it first as a SVG file so that um, you will be able to come back in like open it and and change some things you know but if you save it as a png immediately you will you will get in trouble so save it as a svg first so i'll go to file file save as and we will name it um 20 ounce 20 ounce tumblr template template okay okay here we are and then this is our our uh, paper our sheet we're going to change change it we go to file document properties and then it will open and you will choose um 8.5 by 11 us letter right here okay and then you can choose for the orientation you can choose landscape landscape okay and that's it you see and it's changed okay um this is your paper now we're going to do the the template itself the template you take a box i'll show you what the the the, the measurements for the template you make a a, a a box box like this okay and when you select the box, when you go to this arrow and you select the box, you will see some measurements up here. Change this into inches. Go up here. Choose inch. And the height, the height is um for the 20 ounce tumblers. Actually, you should measure your tumbler before you do this. But for a tumbler that my company is selling, they are 8 inch tall. And uh, I, I will put my... um my template 8.25 for this side go enter so the here is 8.25 the height is 8.25 and for the width the width is um 9.3 so i put i put 9.4 if it's if it's possible if it's necessary you can cut off some extra parts from it 9.4 you write the 9.4 down and you hit enter so this is your um this is your template that will this will go on your tumblr so everything you design for your tumblr should be within this border should be right here within this border okay it should be within this border so let's let's take an example um this one so okay so i open two files why did it open it twice okay i'll open it i will select it i think it's selected i will right click and copy it and then go to my page here and paste it Come on, man, I pasted you. Okay, I pasted. You see, it's here. And uh, I have a background also. I will go for the background. Actually, the background is selected right now, I think. Let me open it. Yeah, selected. Um, right click. Copy. And go to my place here. And paste it. Come on, background. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Um, the first thing I showed you was um, was the template, how big it should be. I can do the same with this. You see, I can do the same with it. I have it on inch, and here you see the um, the height and the length, the width and the length. You see them here. But we need to make it just like this. So we're going to do the same thing. Height, 8.25 see it come 8.25 and here we're gonna put it on 9.4 9.4 okay it will be the same 
You see that is the same. Okay, this is just for you, for you to know that it should be like that. 9.3 by 8.25. Okay, and then this is what we're going to use right here. So you see that it's behind it. It's behind it. You just go to your computer calculator and you click on home. Home. Or you can just go to object here. And you see all the shortcuts here. Race to the top, page up, lower to bottom, page down. You see that? Home. That I, the one I just used. You see it all here. And all these here are also up here. So, so now, like I told you, this um, page, this uh, um, template is for the tumbler. The tumbler is 8 inch tall, but the template is 8.25. So, your image should be should fit in here. Okay, so your image should be shorter than 8 inch. Because when you're going to print the paper, you will have to tuck it a little bit to the inside, you know, to the inside of the cup. So, uh, this can be 8 inch. Your image can be 8 inch. It should be sh smaller than 8 inch. So, to make the image smaller, to change the image, you need to lock it. Lock it, the proportion, you know, the ratio, you lock it in here. And then you're going to change it. We said 7.5. 7.5 inch and then click enter and then you see it becomes smaller but it's proportionate it's, uh, it's, it's yeah it's, some places are not taller than the other and then you have it you put it put it here because you know some part of here will be tucked in and some part of here will be a little bit on the bottom of the cup yeah let me see if you, you can make it a little bit bigger i don't know but I will keep it here to be safe. Okay, if you want it, um, if you want to align it with the paper to be in the center of the paper, you select all, select both, and then you go to object. Most of the things are in under object. You see align and distribute right here. You click on it, align and distribute, and here you have them. You see that you just hover over them and they will tell you what, what they, what, what, what they are. But right now we're going to use these two. A line on vertical axis and a line on horizontal axis to get it exactly in the middle. We're going to click this. Boom. Okay. And then we click this too. You see? And right now it's aligned really, really in the middle. And then you have it. You select it and then you group it. Control G just like in silhouette or you just right click. And you group it, it will be uh, um, available to group. You group it here, okay? Um, let me put this aside. Oh no, and then you save it as a PNG. In this version, you don't save it from here, you have to export it. You go to File, Export PNG Image. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Export PNG Image. You select Export PNG File, okay? The export area is open. You see it right here. This is what we used. And you go to page. Never do selection. Do page. Page will give you the 8.5 by 11 sublimation paper size that you want. Okay. And then you ha you can have here 300, 300 DPI. You're going to do it on 300 DPI. And then I'm going to change the name. The name um birthday queen and then you save you export it i will export it into my downloads export it here and then you see birthday queen png you click save and then you export it here also you need to do both or you won't have the file the file won't come you need to do both and then you now you will export it really and then you see it's exporting to your um to the file that you want it to be in okay next thing we're going to do we're going to test it in silhouette studio let's see something open file open bdq you see it's very big it's very very big okay 
you just select it select your file um, go here and lock it and then you put here the height was 8.25 8.25 and then you hit enter and you see it come back to the 9.4 right you know it's selected and then you click on here and it will come back okay now we we need our page on 8.5 by 11 8.5 by 11 and we want it in um landscape orientation and then you click here and it will put it exactly for you what about the le the the um how do you call this thing the the print border you see the print border you fix it through here file print page setup and here should be 8.5 by 11 and you decide in what cassette you put your paper and then you click ok then then you have your print border then it will be safe um to print out let's see you see it will print out really well mm -hmm. okay okay let's go back to inkscape okay here we have it so if you don't print through silhouette studio you print through in through your computer let's see how that is done okay here here it is right click we're going to print okay okay <clears throat> you see your paper here uh, here you should um, choose your um, you see I, here I have uh, the this printer actually I don't print with this printer information but if you do you should have um, downloaded your um, what do you call this thing your printer driver so that um, you can print the size you want if you have trouble with what is written here if you're not sure you go to options and then you go to printer properties and here you will choose what paper you will, you want to and don't forget all this all this you should have um if it's sublimation you should mirror your image have it mirrored always have this or you will print things out uh, uh you will bring everything wrong and and don't select high speed because you don't want red lines to run through it create a printer preset okay and then you print but that's how it will come it will come out nice for you this is how you um, put a design one more last thingy um, let me show you how you do words for instance you see this word right here the queen word with the double um okay let's see let me go in like with a double line around it like all the, the offset let's say we write i don't have this font but i'll show you queen and now i changed my font i love this font let me see if you can have it okay let's see queen okay hmm. okay uh, you see this box here that means it is uh it's text form okay we're going to change some stuff um you go to pad um object to pad and then you go to object and you ungroup it really quick ungroup it and then pad again and then union united okay let's see let's make it yellow why let's leave it black black to, to get the line around it you, you right click and you duplicate it and let's say we duplicate it into red okay and then you go to pet again and then you go to outset the outset will make it bigger and use use this control plus C, um, um, the bracket is a number zero you hold control okay we are here 
hold control and you go one two three and you see it becomes thicker and then you press down on um, end and you see how you get it that's how you do it and if you want a one more a bigger one you will do it around the red one you copy the red one again control plus d let's say you make it green and you go back to the control plus the zero one two three and then you send it to the back with end you see you have you get it more and more so that's how you do it and if you if you watch this video you will understand everything thank you so much for watching and um, please if you have questions let me know in the comment section and please subscribe and click on the notification bell and um, so that every time I upload a video you will be notified and come with your questions and I will make videos with the answers thank you